In the second statistics experiment, you are required to plot your data as a histogram inside Davis. Uh, we can do this by importing our raw data, so this is your individual recordings of each number of counts. Just simply copy and paste these into Cydavis. Now to plot this as a histogram, we can select the column and under plot, go to statistical graphs and choose histogram. And it will bring up this plot window. Now this isn't quite right yet, there are some things that we need to change. Firstly we need to go to uh, right click and go to properties, select table 1 and uncheck automatic binning. At the moment it's choosing a bin size of 0 0.6 which doesn't make sense in this case so we'll change that to 1 and click apply. The other thing that we would like to do is to center each of these bars above the uh, value correctly. And we can do this by choosing spacing and putting in an offset of negative 50. Okay, so now this data is correct. Uh, I would like to change the axis size. By double clicking on the axis I can choose, at the moment it's from minus 2 to 12, I'm going to change it from minus 2 to 8. Okay, and again I'm going to give my graph a title, this time I'll call it graph B, and change my axis titles. Okay, the next step is to overlay the Poisson and Gaussian data onto our histogram. So first I'd like to copy this data into a table. Um, I'll create a new table by choosing File, New Table, and then back to Excel I'm going to choose the X values, which is the different um, measurements that you recorded. Copy these into the X column and in the Y column I will add the expected values under a Poisson distribution and I will change this to E of X Poisson and I will add a new column for the Gaussian data. And change the title. And click apply. So what we have here is a table which contains the expected value under a Gaussian and Poisson distribution for each number of counts, for example, zero counts per 10 seconds, one count per 10 seconds, and so on. Now when I go back to the graph window, we can overlay this data by choosing graph and add or remove curve. Now to add each of these, we can simply click on the column, press this top box, and it will add to the graph. So we can choose the Gaussian and Poisson, and it's changed the scale again, so I'm just going to change it back, and click apply, and I'm just going to change these um, legend titles. Instead of table 1, I'm going to call this data, or experiment data. And I'm simply going to call these E of X Poisson and E of X for Gaussian for the expected values. And click OK. So now this is ready to export as an image file. And once again, we'll go to File, Export Graph, Current, give it a title, and press Save. 
And now back on the desktop, we have our graph.